All right, question of the week in Blex Review number 36. Our question is, which of the following joints is a gliding joint? Is it going to be A, the zygopophyseal joint, B, the acetabulofemoral joint, C, the interphalangeal joint, or D, the trapezial metacarpal joint? So one more time, which of the following joints is a gliding joint? Is it going to be the zygopophyseal joint, the acetabulofemoral joint, the interphalangeal joint, or the trapezial metacarpal joint. So I'll give you a few moments to work on this one and then we'll go ahead and head over to the explanation. All right, so in the community tab, I asked you which of the following joints is a gliding joint, and we had a great turnout. We had 50 votes here. 18% of you said it was going to be the zygopophyseal joint. 22% of you said it was going to be the acetabulofemoral joint. 44% of you said it was going to be the interphalangeal joint. And then 16% of you said it was going to be the trapezial metacarpal joint. And then thank you to the 12 people who liked this post. So a majority of you went with the interphalangeal joints as being the gliding joint. So let's see if this is the correct answer. So let's take a look at these different joints here. We have the zygopophyseal joint. We have the acetabulofemoral joint. We have the interphalangeal joint. And then we have the trapezial metacarpal carpal joint. So we're going to run through each one of these briefly. So the very first one we have is the zygopophyseal joint, and that is going to be these joints right here, running all the way up the vertebral column. And so this joint is going to articulate with the inferior and superior facets of each of these vertebrae. So you can see them running all the way up the vertebral column. This is known as the zygopophyseal joint, such a complicated name for such a simple joint, zygopophyseal joint joint. Next, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the acetabulofemoral joint, which is going to be this joint where we have the head of the femur that articulates with the socket of the pelvis. This socket of the pelvis is known as the acetabulum. And so here we have the acetabulo, which is the acetabulum, and then femoral, where the femur articulates with the acetabulum. Now, I also need you to know this by a coxal joint, that is C-O-X-A-L. It is commonly abbreviated as the coxal joint as well. So know those both those terms, the acetabulofemoral joint as well as the coxal joint. And this is a ball and socket joint joint that is going to allow for the greatest range of movement at any of the six synovial joints that we have in our bodies. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the interphalangeal joints. Here we have 14 phalanges, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. These are going to be the proximal phalanges, then we have the middle phalanges, and then we have the distal phalanges. And in between each of these phalanges, we have a joint. So here is the joints that are articulating each of these phalanges. Inter, remember, means between. So these joints articulate each of these phalanges. And so these are hinge joints that only allow for flexion and extension at the interphalangeal joints. Next, we're going to cover the trapezial metacarpal joint. And the trapezial metacarpal joint is going to be where the trapezium articulates with the thumbs metacarpal. And so the thumbs metacarpals base is going to be a convex surface that articulates with the trapezium's concave surface. So I think of a cave, and so it caves in on the trapezium carpal. And so this is known as a saddle joint. It is the trapezial metacarpal joint, which allows for flexion, extension, adduction, abduction, as well as rotation at the trapezial metacarpal joint. And so this question wants to know which of these four is a gliding joint. And the correct answer is going to be the zygopophyseal joint. These are gliding joints. Such a complicated name for such a simple joint. This is the zygopophyseal joint. And so 18% of you got this answer correct. Now, if you did not get this answer correct, I would encourage you to check out my Patreon page where I dive much deeper into this material and all of the things that you should know before you go and take the Emblex. All right, y'all have a wonderful week ahead and I will see you in the next question of the week. Y'all take care.